Hello, welcome. I'm Bill Wake. We're here working on Dungeons and Patterns. It's a role-playing game. We've been working into a version in Elm, and uh, we've introduced a number of puzzle types, and now I want to reduce some duplication. All right, let's go to the IDE. Okay, so let me find puzzle here. Okay, so we have five types. One is no puzzle, which is no puzzle at all. Um, a dialogue puzzle, you you have some actions you can take and you do an action and the system responds and then you choose uh, a puzzle answer the answers puzzle excuse me is um kind of a multi puzzle it's got it's got usually three but three different patterns you can guess um the game's about design patterns i don't know if i mentioned that three different patterns you can guess if you get them all right you've solved the puzzle and um, the order puzzle, you can rearrange items, and once you get them in the right order, you've solved it. And a combo puzzle, it's got a, a section where there's a set of items you can select or deselect, and um, different responses depending on what you select, and then you have a separate puzzle dialogue you need to choose. Um, I guess, yeah, so it, it has an answer. The order puzzle doesn't really, um, once you put them in the right order, there's no separate pattern name you, you guess. All right, and then uh, we have duplication. Let me see. Let's start here. Um, one is we have this notion of we want to keep track of which rooms are solved. And um, doing this, basically, you have to find out if the puzzle is solved. If it is, you're going to add the current room to the set of solutions. It's basically a map from room name to um, whether it's, uh, well, it gets added. The room name gets added to the set when it's solved. Otherwise, if it's not solved, you just leave the original original model solved. Um, and we've seen, we've got more like this. So here's this one is solved, only it's combo, combo puzzle is solved. And then new solved is basically the same. And I think, well, this one's a little different, but it's similar. Is solved, answers puzzle, this, and kind of the same. So um, the ordering one doesn't really... Well, no, I take that back. It also it also needs to know um, if the order puzzle is solved. All right, so the the solution or the the answer for this, so it takes an array of states and a puzzle. And let's go to the answers puzzle. Well, that takes an array of pattern names, whoops, array of pattern names and and that kind of puzzle. And um, dialogue puzzle takes a single pattern name. Okay, so I would like to fold those all together somehow. And I'm not 100% sure I know how, but that's what we'll explore. So one of the things we're going to do, um, I would like to make these, like somehow I'd like to have a generic function for this. And the, the thing that has to be passed in is this. Well, it really is three things. There's there's some data which varies. I think we saw several types there. We need the puzzle itself, and then we need the function that solves it. And I would like there to be some, you know, little function that you pass these three things in, and it handles what to do in this case. So what I see for that, and I don't I don't know if Hmm, I don't know if I can extract this out first. Okay, well, let's start from the other one. And I think, I mean, one thing we could do, we could easily see pulling this part out, right? Because that's really talking about model stuff. Um, it's just saying put the current room in the, in the current set of solutions or don't if you knew the is solved. But I would like to, I would like to do that. Okay. Now, I don't know if I can, but one thing I do know is, um, hmm, I guess I don't know it. I thought, eh, hey, boy. Okay. I guess the model. This is what default is. 
Well, that's a little funny too, but hmm. I've got a model at this point, the new model has update patterns. Okay, so it has the, the updated state and this puzzle state, um, this dictionary is a map to puzzle states. Hmm. Let's go here. State of model, model, we get the current room's state and we get a puzzle state back. So my, my intuition, I guess you'd say, um, in, in OO land anyway, <laughs> one thing I would do would be, I'd look at all these functions and go like, hey, these things are kind of similar, but they're working with different stuff here. What if they just took the the puzzle state can i can i make that work so let's find puzzle state oh, maybe it's not open okay so this is the three different kinds of things that get used and there's some combination of them some things use strings and patterns and so on. Um, but this information represents the user's guesses so far. And, and other things, everything they've selected or guessed is kind of represented in this. And so if they took puzzle state, um, let's take this. So is solved, if this took puzzle state instead, well, it would have to go dig out the, the guess, um, which is the, the array of integers. But we know puzzle state has that. It's just puzzle state dot ordering. Okay. So we're making, in effect, we're saying the way to tell if a puzzle is solved is compare the state to the original game. Um, where can we find that? Well, okay, puzzle. Yeah, so, so the puzzle has, in this case, well, this one's a little complicated, but the, the puzzle knows how they've scrambled the items and it can decide if they've really match the list of items once you unscramble them. And that's kind of what this is doing. Okay, so, um, hmm, the best way to do that, well, I'm gonna, like so many times, we'll do things in parallel. Oh, and I can't keep the name either. What if, Okay, what if I get the guess from the puzzle state? We're looking for the array events. This is the ordering puzzle, okay. Um, now, who calls this? Oops. wrong one <laughs> okay is solved is solved here um we're asking for the new state basically see we've set the ordering so let's take that here all right and then order puzzle we dealt with and we got a couple wheel okay We have default puzzle, I think. Mm, yeah, well, default order puzzle. So let's 
let's pass that in. Default order puzzle where, oops, where ordering equals array dot from list one two zero. Something went wrong, okay. Default order puzzle does not have an ordering. Oh, I'm at random order, okay. Random order is an array event. Maybe I do need these prints. I don't think so. Is solved is not is a record of type failure message items random order success. Is solved needs it to be puzzle state. Okay, um, let's take default state. Well, this one's ordering. Oh, wait. I'm confusing myself, as so often happens. Okay, so this one, let's take default state. I fixed the wrong side of the equation here. Okay, we're trying to pass state in. This should pass. Good. Oops. And so let's see what we're doing. Well, we're make um, order puzzle check is solved over puzzle state. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. All right, and this is 2141. Now this is, it's one of these things, um, Lots of times we want to get rid of kind of medium scale duplication. We end up making things more similar and then we can get rid of the duplication a little more easily. So my hope is I'm not going in a bad direction here, but um, we've we've dealt with order puzzle. Um, checking is uh, solved. And then let's do the same over, over the others. Okay, so order puzzle. I'll just close that for now. And we got dialogue puzzle, which is the original. Okay. 
and I'm going to do the same kind of trick here let guess equal and this goes to puzzle state sorry before I forget what it was okay it's pattern name puzzle state and state the guess is state dot Well, it's state dot patterns. Oof. Patterns, but we have to get the first entry. So I'm definitely making some more work here. I, I hope it's the right thing. Okay, so we want to do an array dot get import from array takes an integer well in this case it's always zero and what else an array and it yields a maybe so we got to give it a default and I've just been using any old junk because all we have to do is make sure we don't um, we don't end up at the same place the the this is not an option on the guest so their guest will never be that okay so now we got is solved and let's see who breaks because that's the places that don't pass state okay so i think maybe i can still get references yeah all right well only only our puzzle okay so the new model Well, let's see. If you have the model, it's just the state. Required, oh. Let's see what update patterns does. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be the state for the model. Okay, nothing else is referencing that, so that should work. Good. Okay, and this one is dialogue puzzle. Okay, and I'll close that one too. Dialogue puzzle. Well, we did order puzzle and dialogue puzzle. I'm just kind of randomly doing them, I guess. Order puzzle. Answers puzzle. We didn't do a combo puzzle. Now, okay, combo puzzle also has this solved. Let's see who references it. Is solved here and then this, okay. Um, let's let guess equal this becomes state well it's almost the exact same as the other one isn't it kind of like is the exact same let guess equal read out get
podcast SQL cannot access fields type. Oh, that should be the state. Hmm, I don't know, it's so similar now, it's identical, except for this. Answer, because he knows the answer, okay. Hmm, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's hard for me to get the, the patterns of pulling out functions and stuff in the right way, but uh, let's see who breaks. That's the people that are using it differently. Well, I guess our find would tell us that, right? Combo puzzle. Okay, the guess. Well, we're going to do the same thing here, I guess. State of new model. Okay, so. Oh, the tests. Okay, so they need default state where. Um, Um, default state. I guess it's where patterns equal. Oh, we did dialogue puzzle. All right, so we did answer puzzle, combo puzzle, dialogue puzzle, no puzzle, and then let's look at order puzzle. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah, order puzzle is funny. That's what. Okay, but we've already done it. Okay, so I guess we've done the types. There is no, um, there's no class or module, I guess, for no puzzle, but we did these. Okay. So now what, what I think I have, I don't know. Okay. So I think if you, well, let's see if what I hope goes right. Okay. Is solved. I'm going to, well, Okay, um, I'll say decide if solved. I'm just trying to get the namespace a little separated. Okay, 
And I'm guessing you're going to have to pass in the what? The combo puzzle is solved method. All right. Puzzle state to this to bool. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a little experimental for me. Okay, the function that's going in, and then we need the model. Well, no, we need the the puzzle. Um, let's say P for puzzle and the model and we get back a boolean or no we get back maybe we should get back the model okay well, let's see and this thing so i'm trying to general generalize i guess you'd say across the puzzle type so if you pass me a function that takes a puzzle state and some puzzle type and returns me a bool which combo puzzle has because it takes com puzzle state to combo puzzle to bool then i think i can call that function so decide if solved of um predicate since it returns a boolean and a puzzle and a model equals something okay so i want to say i'm going to borrow all that stuff yeah yeah Instead of new model, I'll just say model, model. Okay, now combo puzzle is solved. That's my predicate. Yeah, okay. Um, that's at least plausibly going to work. Okay, so I'm trying to extract this stuff out and then generalize. So, um, is solved we take the predicate apply to the state of the model and the puzzle and then we get that back and that's that okay so now let's see if we can use it okay so if i compute new model in i want to say decide if solved the predicate is combo puzzle is solved Um, the puzzle is puzzle, the model is a mo uh, new model. Okay, so if you take the pattern, take the model, update it with the patterns that they've guessed, um, then I think that should give you a new model with so a new solution. Okay, so the typing seems to be working for the one level. I don't know if I'm generic enough across everything, but let's run that. Yeah, okay, like first try, ooh. <laughs> um, that's the way it's supposed to be, but you know. Okay, uh, decide if solved, let's, let's, It's really something about the model. Can I say solved model? Um, that's gotta be better than what I have. The solved model for the predicate, the puzzle and the model. Okay, is that stuff. 
Okay. Now I'm debating inlining all this, but all right, let's see what we got for a dialogue puzzle. What else do we have? Single pattern. Okay. Yeah, so dialogue puzzle. Or we have a new model. So we would like to think this line is going to be practically identical other than this. I'll come with this stuff out. Okay. Yes, good. All right, I'm really glad this is kind of working. It's, it's, there may still be some room to improve things, but um, we're, you know, uh, we talk about higher level functions, right? I'm taking a function that takes a function, and now I'm reducing a lot of duplication by doing that. Okay, so let's look at guess multi pattern. Again, I think I think that same line is going to do it. The solved model. We got the new model. Okay, the new model with answers puzzle. And this stuff out of the way. Oh, what's the matter? Did we not do this one? We did not. Okay. I kept thinking I was missing one. Uh, let's go back. We're not ready to do this. There we go. Okay. I'll do a save just to make sure. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do answers puzzle. Okay, is solved um, array of pattern name. Well, we'd like that to be a state. So let's make let guesses equals um, something in this. All right, instead of the pattern name, we want this to be a puzzle state. This is, whoops, state. Puzzle. Okay. And, oh man. Quick memory here. Guess is state dot whatever. Okay. Patterns. Okay. And the references. Well, we know there's at least one over there because. We just ran across it. Okay. New guess is. Well, we're going to say state of new model. Okay. And these. where the patterns equals this. And you can see I'm making my test a little, a, a touch harder to understand, more realistic in a sense, but uh, a little harder to understand. Not terrible, but we're, we're accessing at a different level. Okay, these should all pass. Yes, okay. Now, new guesses. Okay, let me diff this. What, what would happen there? Uh, 
Great hot set index gas. Oh, it's being done here. All right, out set index gas on current guesses. Okay, I think this is probably a little bit of a leftover artifact. Um, let's let's go run. I just kind of have to make sure, I guess. We. I don't think it's an issue. Okay, and we probably, you may remember the answers <laughs> rather than work them out. Decorator and chain. Okay, that's green. No doors opened and we're good. Okay, so I guess this really is not used. Okay, now back to this, we want to use solved model. Okay, there's new model. Now we may be able to make things easier, but puzzle. Required dialogue. Oh, this is answers puzzle. Nice. Well, oh, maybe I'm just, yeah. Okay, so that was nice. We had the wrong kind of puzzle with this function. And since we used P twice, it noticed, oh, hey, they're supposed to be the same thing. Should pass? Yes. Okay. And this one is, oops, doo -doo. make combo puzzle check. Well, we made answers puzzle check. Okay, and push. All right, now, multi-pattern, that's the one we just did. Solve puzzles, okay. Hmm. Now this one, all right. Um, let me just go back up, make sure where we are in this. Okay, we've got update patterns. Guess single pattern, much smaller. Guess combo pattern, much smaller. A little duplication there. Okay, solved model, that's our helper. Not quite duplication. Um, guess ordering. Oh, that's long. Yikes. I'd like to fix that too, but anyway. Okay, so new state. Let's current state with ordering let's update let's let's get the new state hmm current state with ordering equals updated positions well i'm going to move this down oh no he won a new state Okay, I'm gonna make new state two. <laughs> Sorry, equals. Well, it's new state with state equal new state dictionary. Doesn't have field state. New state is. Oh, that's a puzzle state. I want a model. Well, 
let's say new model is the model with state equal dictionary new dictionary Now I don't need it here. Well, apparently that's not correct. Let's revert. Okay. Well, we're due for a break, so we'll take a break and come back and see if we can uh, work on this excessively long method. All right, see you in a couple or three minutes. Hi, welcome back. All right, let's see what we what we'd messed up here. Okay, I'm oh man, there's a lot going on there. Okay, so we got the current state, we got the new state with the updated positions. Now we want to insert the new state into the dictionary. All right. And my claim was I should be able to say new model equals model with state equal new state dictionary. Okay. And I see my problem. Did I do this last time? Okay, let's try that. Okay, so now I'm going to use the new model. I've updated the state, and now I'm worrying about the solution. Okay, so new model with this, and let's see if that passes tests. Did I save? Okay. Yes. All right. So um, we want to do our solved model thing. Okay, solved model. Okay, so if we have all that in solved model, order puzzle is solved, and new model from here, then we should be able to get rid of this stuff. We've done it four times, so I'm going to trust that it works. Yes. Okay. So, make answer puzzle check is solved. Okay. And now we want to make all puzzle types use solved model to decide if puzzle is solved. Okay. I kind of think we have, but let's let's go back through. Okay, default update patterns. Now, hmm. This is more like update Well, what's it doing? It's updating the patterns in the in the state. Okay, I mean, this is kind of similar to what we got going. Let's see if we can pull those together. We got this little helper. Okay, array of pattern name. See what I'm seeing? We got update patterns produces a model. And this thing takes a bunch of stuff in a model. So we should be able to pipe these things together if, if all is well. Okay, so if update patterns produces a model, so I think I should be able to say this pipe to that. 
and comment out this. And then I don't need new model in the end because the model is coming in from the pipe. Okay, that's what I want to see. Okay. Now, guess combo pattern also calls update patterns. So if we did the same thing there, update patterns, pipes to this without the model. Okay, that's getting nicer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish I could see this sooner. Okay, now there's another thing we can do. I don't know if it's a big deal. Let's see, where's, yeah, this. Um, well, yeah, the caller for this, notice if we, if we had this as an argument, we wouldn't care about combo puzzle. And where's our guess multi patterns? Yeah, let's let's move this one above those helpers. There's always a tension I find between do I want to define a bunch of lemmas and then tell how to do stuff or do I want to do stuff that references future stuff? And this class is too big in my book. Okay. Now, what's going on with this? Guess single pattern. Wait. Guess multi pattern. I didn't move it far enough. Guess single pattern update patterns equals new patterns. They call it with an array from list. of the guess. Well, we have to dig out the current one. That's why this is so messy. But we can still move the, we're, we're calling update patterns. It's just a lot more work to get the patterns. All right, so let's, let's move this down and pipe it in to this without new model. New model out. See if that formats and passes. Okay, so this is good, good. All this stuff is really a mess. <laughs> and it's producing what? It's really producing the guesses with default. Ugh. So I don't know. This is one of these where initializing, you've initialized empty lists for things. But as soon as you get in there and look at the puzzle, you go like, oh, wait, it's supposed to have three answers. And so we create something with three answers in it. And they're just defaulted to junk. Um, it sure be nice not to have to do that. And this... Yeah, we need the list length because we need to know how many answers to repeat. Um, okay. All right, the other thing I see is, um, and this this may be a little bit of overkill, but you, we did this last time too, Saturday, I guess it was. When this is the last argument and it's called here like that, you can just default it and turn this into a function composition instead. So let's do that. And my understanding is it's just more idiomatic Elm, you know, that we'd rather talk about the function composition is, is better than the, the, you know, applying the function. Um, you can still see it needs the extra argument the, that it's implicit, 
because it's still up here in the declaration. So you have a function that says there's three parameters in a result and it only takes two parameters. Well, because of the currying stuff, now this whole thing is a function of two arguments um, that takes an argument, the model. And so you've got a, again, kind of a functional thing. This, I don't know if it can do it here. Do we reference model? I guess we do. Yeah, so we can't quite do that there. Okay, but update patterns generating a new model. Okay, who else generates a new model? Guess ordering. This one's somewhat similar. This is the one that's so, so messy that way. Okay, we've got current state. We update the ordering. And then we update the state. Updated state dictionary. Current state with ordering is the new state. It's like a two level thing, and it's also mixing in this thing of a default set. And these maybe with defaults too. Um, so this one, it's swapping the two arguments. I mean, it's a, it's a real thing. And maybe we can, I mean, like this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Okay, and the other thing I know, <laughs> let's see. We're going to go to dictionary. There's a replace, an update, okay? And I've been taking stuff out and then doing an insert but we should be able to do the update. <sighs> okay, can we can we work that out? Let's see, is there a simpler one? This one is probably... Well, no, that's not really an update, is it? This one, maybe. We get the state from the model. All right, insert, oops, takes the key and the value. And the dictionary. Okay. So I should theoretically, well, let's, let's, this is a little bit of an experiment. So I'll just say updated to equals, I would like to say dict dot update. I'm pretty sure it takes the key. Was that it? the key and then a function. I'm going to call the function updater and I'll make it, I'll assign it to equals lambda um, yeah, well, let's let's wait a minute here. Okay. We have key value old dictionary, which is model dot state. Okay, so insert model current room update state model dot state update 
the key with the value derived from this and the state. Is that right? And it gives us dictionary. Okay, the updater is a function, maybe v goes to maybe v. Okay, so um, let's declare it. Updater, maybe v is a state. Is that true? Now that should make him a little happier. Updater equals lambda lambda state goes to state. Maybe just state. Um, what's oh boy, I shouldn't reuse that word. We'll just do s goes to s for a minute here. Just want to see if I can get this thing working. Okay, that that's clearly not right because we we want a state that has the patterns equal new patterns. I mean, if S is our state, we really want a state um, we would like to update the state with patterns equals new patterns. Do I have to say just? Oh, I have to deal with it. Okay, let's do case s of nothing. We're going to do something. And then just s goes to this. Okay. If you get nothing, how's that happen? Basically, you're saying you don't find the current state Hmm. All right. <laughs> if you don't if you look up the current room, I mean this this is sort of the can't happen zone. You look up the current state and you find out there is no state, which that means the key was missing because we always put states in there. So the key for this room is now missing. I don't know what, what room. I mean, I'm going to take default state, but it's probably really an error. But maybe it's not. I don't know. There might be some some way to do that. Okay, well apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's let's make this different just to make sure that's not the issue. No. Something is off with the body of the updater. Oh, I need some justs. Now I could I could see saying nothing goes to nothing. Let's let's do that. Okay, because it's kind of a can't happen. So if it does, I think that's fine. All right, now this should. This should build and run. Oops. Model on Elm 107. What did I do? Oh, sub model. Well, I don't know. It looks just like the one above it, doesn't it? Combo puzzle is solve puzzle. Oh, I didn't change my function. 
which means I've been blending changes here. Did I save? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to our updater. Okay. So now updated two is the dictionary update. Let's let's make this be updated two. Not quite right. More, well, <laughs> a nice way to say totally wrong. Okay. Um, what's going on? Updated state dictionary takes the current room, the updated state, and the model state. Have we done the same thing here? Updated state. Well, I had hoped that calling updater would give me the updated state. Just a state. Current room updater model dot state. Current state. the state of the model. I'm sorry, let's just take a peek here. It's the current state, the state of the current room. Okay, and updated state is Hmm. Okay, so this update is saying I want to update the current room with whatever the updater function does in model.state. And then you have to put it back in the state. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is where this is getting me. Okay, so if I give you the current room, this thing is gonna look up current room, get back a state, because that's what model.state's a dictionary of. It's gonna take that value, call it S, which is the current state for that room. It's going to find it and say, okay, just take that state, but give it the new patterns. And then store it in the dictionary. That's the new dictionary, and then update that. I don't know. I, mean, I got to look at the answers here. What didn't get done? Find a short one. Okay. This one does not have, let's see, state is empty. So update. Let me back this one out. I mean, it's like it's not getting the current state, right? Update patterns. We get the state from the model giving it a default if we don't have one. Well, maybe maybe my nothing case needs to do the same. Yeah. 
yeah okay um oh but i'm not using it <laughs> all right yeah so it passes with that let's try putting this in here update did to He's lost the patterns. State equals dictionary room. He's not getting the new patterns in. Okay, I'm going to back out. We'll save that for another day. I definitely have some Elm stuff to to learn. Okay. All right. So what do we got the same and what's different? Okay. Guess single pattern looks very, very similar. The only difference is that compared to this. Guess multi pattern has to do some work. But then it it looks kind of the same too. I don't know. This array dot set index guess. Okay. I mean these three look pretty similar down on the bottom here if current guesses with default man that thing is so painful to get there I guess I'm trying to think if there's a moment where I know the length of the answers and I should just put it in the in the guess I mean, maybe that's a thing. You give me the puzzle. Hmm. It could come from the puzzle. It could also probably come from the state. Index guess. All right, notice, notice we're not using index or guess in this whole section, <laughs> right? So something's funny. We are using current guesses with default that comes out of it. Current guesses comes from patterns. That's the state. Okay, that's the patterns of the current state. All right, so I'm going to again try and be mindless. I, I, I don't want to say mindless, it's mechanical. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it probably looks mindless, but I want to be mechanical here. And I want to say, what am I giving you? I'm I'm giving you the result of this is current guesses with default. We don't look at number of answers again. We don't look at current guesses again. Okay, so I'm giving you an array. Well, I'm just going to say adjusted, defaulted. maybe defaulted array I don't know 
it's really answers, right? Or, or it's current guesses, maybe current guesses with default is the right name. Okay, and I'll just call it defaulted current guesses, again, to kind of make it different. Um, it doesn't need the int, it doesn't need the guess. It just needs the puzzle and the model. And it generates one of these array of patterns. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Let this in. That. Okay, that should build. All right, now can we use it? Um, let current guesses with default equal. Well, I'm just going to say current guesses. Now I'm going to be straightforward for a moment and then I'll clean it up. I want to say this equals defaulted current guesses, the puzzle and the model. And then you don't need all this. Okay, good so far. Now, number of answers. I don't mind inlining this. I guess I don't have to worry about that. Oh, except I need it twice. Number of answers, current guesses, I don't need twice. Let's do that. Okay, number of answers. Oh, apparently I do. <laughs> Gives that twice too. Golly. Okay. We get the number of answers, we get the current guesses. If the current length equals number of answers. Well, it's really, patterns for model, let's see what that does. State, get the patterns. State, oh, right up here, gets the current room with the model state. So we always get a model state. So it's safe to do the patterns at this point. Okay. And we know it, it's either the default state or it's already been guessed. So if the current guesses is zero, then current guesses should be the same thing. <laughs> okay. What do I know? All right. Um, we better okay one thing well I was gonna say we could pull that out but or inline this but I don't think so all right um, let's call this current guesses and then I think this is Well, current guesses with default. Okay. Yeah. 
current guess. Who does this? Current guess model exports it. View does that here. Dialogue puzzle. All right. Well, where where I'm getting to is like I would love to. These two should be. They're the same except for the combo puzzle is solved. Okay. So if if guess single pattern took Well, wait, where's the puzzle? Oh, it's there. Okay. Um all right, I'm going to make another generalization. Guess one pattern. You give me a pattern name and a puzzle type. I'm not sure where the order should be, but you're going to have to give me a function too. Combo puzzle is solved. Well, that's going to be that same... this type so a function to the puzzle the puzzle the model and the model okay um, um and this is pattern, um, predicate, whoops, pattern, predicate, puzzle, model equals, well, it's going to look a lot like this. Okay. Um, this is guess. But I'm going to use predicate. And I guess I don't need to put model on there because it's implicit. Okay, so if you want to guess one pattern, you pass in the pattern, the predicate, the puzzle, the model. Okay, now that should build, it should be no problem. I should be able to substitute it. Um, guess predicate. Puzzle. And then model is implicit, right? Okay. And then same thing here. Predicate. Model is implicit. Okay. Now, I think I can take this one off too by the same argument. Okay, and therefore I can take this off. Now the order may be funny. I'm going to say predicate pattern name swap the over here and 
here. Okay, you can see what I wanted to do this, why I wanted to do that. Now guess is the last argument. Okay, so now this thing is a function from pattern to combo puzzle to model to model. And it implicitly takes the pattern, the combo puzzle, and the model. I, I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes I can see why this is better, and sometimes I'm just not clear. <laughs> but it definitely is cutting out some stuff. All right. Now, who calls this? Let's go find the caller of that. Guess single pattern. Okay. It's called in message. All right, so let's let's export this one. Make all puzzles use solved model. I think we've done that. Now we're um, Okay, so I have this guess one pattern function. Let's declare it. Okay, so he's public. All right, now this, I should be able to inline this into the caller messages model dot guess single pattern he's doing this is that true Well, I guess I don't need these parens then because that gives me parenthesizing that I get a function of three arguments or yeah yeah three arguments here they are okay this should work bum bum okay and then similarly who calls guess combo pattern I'm guessing it's that same place yep and it can take this. Guess combo pattern. Guess puzzle is solved. Okay, now Let's go back to model. These are unused. I don't know, do I have a delete save? No. Okay. Take those out. Take those out here. Take those out here. Okay, so that was combo pattern and single pattern. Let's see, we're back to message. Ordering puzzle doesn't care. We have answer and combo. Sorry, dialogue puzzle combo, and then answers puzzle is this one. He's different because he needs the index to say which which pattern name we're working on. Um, this guess should be a pattern name. Okay, guess ordering 
Int to int to model. Okay. Model is still like way too big. <laughs> um, but I think we've we've done good things to it. Okay. Um, I see I've missed yet another break. <laughs> let's let's take a couple minutes. We'll come back and assess the rest of these, see what we can do, and uh, continue cleaning up. All right, see you in two minutes. Hi, welcome back. All right, what's going on? Simplify guess single pattern, guess combo pattern. We did that. Let's move that down. Well, I'll put it back up here for check-in. Okay. And test should run. Yes, and we can push. Dang on it. <laughs> Oh, boy. I wish I hadn't done that. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope I wasn't too far into it. Okay. Guess single pattern. Oh, my. All right. Well, I'll try and do it more quickly. We did update patterns. We don't need the in. We're going to make it a function. Take the model off and take this model off. Whoa, what did I do? Somehow select it too much. And mom comes off. Okay. Guess combo pattern pattern, same thing. Model comes off, model comes off, greater than, comes off. Okay, now we're going to guess one pattern. And it's a function from pattern state. Well, let's go down here. Puzzle state to a pattern name to a puzzle to a model goes to model. And guess one pattern equals a predicate, a guess, and a puzzle. Predicate is here. Okay. Um, then we call this guess one pattern of dialog puzzle that is solved. And since the puzzle is the last argument, wait.
Let's guess puzzle with the last two things. We don't need them here. Inline this to message. Guess single pattern. One up all. One pattern combo puzzle that I solved. Yes, combo puzzle model. Okay, we should pass. Um, we should have a couple dead functions. Let's see, we did that. Oops, that's already duplicated. Okay. Declarations extra. Okay, all tests pass. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay, um, let's see. Make dialogue and puzzle if you share one pattern. Make method check is solved generic over puzzle type. You know, I mean, that's kind of what this is. Make model knows dictionary room goes to puzzle state. Model. Well, that seems to be true. I think that was left over. Are room.answer and room.dialog sensible? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Answer. You give me a room, I give you back maybe an answer. It seems funny that dialogue puzzle is the only one that cares. So who uses it? Answer. Haha. <laughs> Used by room test. Nobody else. Okay. So that answers that. That's not sensible. Room.answer. Okay. Room.answer. And no. You would think that should say it's not being used. Okay.
All right. Um, delete dead code room dot answer. that one um, who uses dialogue more tests okay so this is room dot dialogue Should be compiler complaints from the tests. Well, we can go look at them. Game tests with game.dialog. Now, room's not doing anywhere near as much. Let's see. I mean, there's a fair bit of information in there. Why is there ordering puzzle and maybe in puzzle? Hmm, who uses this? Nobody. Okay, it's the fourth parameter. So let's see, delete dead code room dot dialog dead code uh, room dot ordering puzzle. Okay, fourth parameter. I'm sure there's constructors that are out there using it. Room dot elm, yeah. One, two, three, four. Now we we got rid of many of these. Oh, interesting. Game. Hard code nothing is the fourth parameter, so we really weren't using it at all. Okay. Leftover cleanup. Game test. One of six. One, two, three, four. Now, usually I do a default room because um, then that makes the other code more robust against these constructor changes, but apparently here we don't. Test run passed. Okay. Good. 
good. All right, let's go back to room. What else we got? Okay, so we have the image, the description, the puzzle, the exits, the hidden exits, and the way down. That all seems kind of okay. All right. Um, deleted code from room ordering puzzle. <sighs> well, we, we, I did this in between times. I don't know if it was yesterday, but somewhere in there. Um, we're done in level one, done in level two, but we, we haven't dealt with level three. Okay. Help her to create model with desired puzzle. Should judge pattern answers know what to do? That's a good one. I'm not sure the answer there. Um, Judge pattern answers. I thought we had that somewhere. Judge pattern answer. Okay. Um, okay, this one. Hmm. Judge isn't quite. Oh boy. Hmm. So this is the message. You currently get this. All right, if you, if you have the normal dialogue, well, the dialogue ants puzzle was the first one. If you have a dialogue puzzle and they, um, their guess boils down to the default guess, what, what should we, how should we comment on it? What's the, what's the message? Now, I changed the way we did messages, and maybe this is a, a, an example of what, maybe we should do that here too. I put the message in the the puzzle itself for these two. This one's a little different. Um, sorry, dialogue puzzle. I think we closed. Okay. Um, this one doesn't know that. It only knows the dialogue and the answer, but. Um, Let's see how we're doing that in, well, let's take combo puzzle. Okay, let's find usages of this. Yeah. So what we've done, we've said, when do you show the failure message or the success message? And we actually just show it no matter what, but we hide it if it's the wrong one. <laughs> so it's hidden if it's solved. The failure message is hidden if the room is solved and the success message is hidden if it's not solved. But um, that's not quite what we're doing with this dialogue puzzle. Now, maybe we need to have, I don't know, if we need a, to recognize the situation where nothing applies yet. Let's just see this one. All right, that's a good that's a good analysis. <laughs> um, all 
if the member the current room is member of the solved set then yes this room is solved I don't know how to okay back to the view I guess the view knows the type of puzzle and that's reasonable Hmm. I'm not so sure here. Well, okay, let's look at the dungeon. Okay, so, and this is partly, it's partly the way of this thing growing the way it did, but um, this section, what's the pattern? I don't know, right? Sorry, that's not it. So this default, I don't know. I mean, do I want specific ones for each dialogue that seems a little bit over the top and translate just says pull these from from this top section Now, if you really wanted to translate, you're going to have to translate everything. I mean, maybe the pictures aren't. I don't think there's a lot of letters on the pictures. But uh, the text is all going to be translated. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to have the notion of untried or maybe tried <laughs> if you've tried you've you've selected other than the default answer hmm okay where's my combo box Acting, guessing. Okay, this is dialogue puzzle. Um, I'm going to change the name to guest dialogue. Okay. Um... Default answer. Do I use that? Oh, there. Well, the puzzle knowing the stuff seems like the right thing. What if we okay, let's let's get more similar again. Okay. If if the room is solved, I guess I'm going to say not puzzle dot failure message, but something I got to get from judge pattern answer Except I'm backwards. 
answer that wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to have both for a second here. Let's see what we got. Reload. Okay. So what's the pattern? Oh, okay. So I don't know. Sorry, that's not it. Eh, tolerable. Before it was blank. Now if I pick a wrong answer, I get it twice because my judge pattern answer was still there sending out a blank and now it's sending out an answer that wrong. But I think I don't mind I don't mind the change in behavior. So this is not refactoring. <laughs> this is um this is changing behavior on it. Okay, now let's try it again. I don't know anything else or prototype. Now we got doors. Okay, so that's the behavior. I think that's okay-ish, but I think we I think we're getting rid of judge pattern answer. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. That. All right, and I think the text is this is um, make dia um, guess dialogue um, answer right wrong like the other puzzles. Delete dead code. Judge pattern answer. Okay. All right. All right, I think that's what we've done. We're import view. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the standard format. Um, this should be ugh, back to green. Okay. And let's pull this down. Sorry about that. Okay, make those answer right or wrong. That's running. Let's push it. Empty commit message. Whoops. Alrighty. Okay. Well, we're going to stop there. Um, this one is a question sort of like for test helpers. It would be nice to have have something that could just stick the desired puzzle in. Because it's down two or three levels, you have to ne you know, negotiate your way through the, through the things. Deploy the game to the web. Yes, we should do that. This, um, actually, I think for, in terms of content, this is probably up there. All right. So anyway, um, next session is Friday, the 7th of January, and it's 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. Uh, as usual. 
Thanks for joining me. I hope I can see you again sometime in the future and take care. Bye-bye.